uh, Bhavaji, the topic today is synchronizing material and spiritual life. And uh, this is a continuation from the previous session we had with Babaji. The first question, I want to progress on my spiritual journey as fast as possible, seeing the sufferings and impermanence of things and the people in this world. However, it is frustrating that I also need to look into earning to maintain my life and take care of responsibilities. This takes up many hours of the day, which I feel could be dedicated to doing more sadhana. These responsibilities feel overwhelming at times and distracts me from the spiritual path. The constant tug of war between the two stresses me up. What should I do, Babaji? Actually, if you adopt the right technique, then the very active life that you are leading responsibilities that you need to execute can turn into spiritual sadhana for you. See, spirituality deals with the mind and your real self, whereas to be in this world, you have to be bodily active and maybe often you may need to think or plan or imagine through your mind. Simply imagining or being creative or planning itself is not a big problem. When the mind jumps into further uncontrollably into such imaginations, which gives rise to both positive and negative feelings. The negative feelings are the frustration, disappointment and all these things that you feel. Whereas, do not feel all these negative things Consider whatever way of life that you are leading as a service to the divinity, to God, to your Guru. Even if you are looking after your family, consider that you are doing a service to your Master. Try to see your Master, your God in your family. And as if you are look, God has given you a family and wants you to look after them. They all belong God's children. Just like you are also a God's child, all are God's children. Look after them without feeling frustrated. Enjoy the duties that you have to perform. Just like you see, even now, I have done the meditation deeply and I am able to keep the mind quiet and silent. But when I have to look after all of you, listen to your questions, answer you and then counselling, then pray for all of you, all over the world people are in touch with us. I don't feel frustrated or disappointed or any such negative things that why I have to do all this thing now I have achieved my peace and just I have to sit quietly in a corner and enjoy my life. No such thing. I enjoy even if I am answering your question, even if you have a complaint, I try to pray for you, I try to give counselling to people. At all times, uh, I am at peace because mind is quiet. I have, do not allow the mind to jump into any frustration or disappointment. Nothing. Because God is everywhere. God is in everything. God is as everything. That is the important point if you remember. So while dealing with this world, always you remember God. Then just plan and do the thing. And then don't start worrying. Don't allow the mind to jump into further disappointment or such worrying. That is all that is needed then your life will be also be successful and then you will be able to undertake the spiritual journey along with the worldly journey together. Thank you, Babaji. Babaji, the second question. Being a housewife and being in the path of spirituality, I feel contented with whatever resources I have. However, I have a fear of seeking for more money and I fear of be becoming rich because I'm afraid that it might change me. I might change my path or my attitude. Is this form of withdrawal from materialistic world correct? Please advise Babaji. Remaining contented is the most important thing 
that itself will give you the spiritual heights always suddenly you don't have to be afraid that if money comes that you might change you need to have your mind under control for that regularly you do sadhana don't give up simply remaining contented for what you have now itself is not enough all the time you have to do sadhana remember god try to meditate in the same technique that we have been teaching like today you sat for 40 minutes every day why don't you sit for 40 minutes like that then if you sit down sincerely understanding the technique and just if you watch in between eyebrows your mind will remain at peace and under your control it will never go into any greedy or it will never take any wrong path even if money comes also it comes or it doesn't come you just have to remain contented and at peace always just go for whatever you need don't become greedy that is the important thing then it won't be harmful thank you baba ji the next question baba ji we understand that this life is temporary however in order to live we work and buy properties like house and car is it okay to claim ownership of our own properties and to defend it if necessary if so how to balance between claiming ownership defending and at the same time being detached you see you can live in this world you can buy a property you can save some money for yourself simply you need to be alert that everything is impermanent including your own property when you die you must be sure i hope you will understand that you will not you are not going to pack up your home also and carry it with you to some other world such thing doesn't happen nobody knows what happens after death you may simply go into next life but whatever you own in the previous life dissolves what do you remember about your previous life if you were an emperor and if you had owned a palace it's of no use now nobody if you go and claim i used to own this palace the i was the emperor so they will simply you kick you out thinking that you are only a madman coming like that is what happens so thus simply remaining alert about the impermanence of this world is important so that you remain contented don't become greedy don't become 24 hours all the time keep worrying about your property or your money use it for the needs you need a shelter use your house to to have the shelter use your money for your livelihood that is all needed the rest of the time remember that this world is impermanent bhaja govindam bhaja govindam govindam bhaja mudamate samprapte sannihite kale nahi nahi rakshati dukhrin karani when death comes to the body none of your worldly properties health wealth nothing will come to your rescue to so god will not stop oh you have a home you can live for another 10 years there won't be any such a discount at the moment the body has to go it will simply go whether you have a palatial building whether you have a small home or anything this fact if you remember is good enough for you and then you can live you can own anything is no problem thank you baba ji the next question baba ji people come into the path of spirituality for many reasons for some it is for solace some feel neglected and have nowhere to go some seek motivation and others seek for answers or solution however i feel the best would be to come into this path for the love of god is it okay to come into the path of spirituality no matter what the previous reasons were yeah anything is no problem it is always good to come to this path whatever was your past you don't have to worry don't feel guilty for anything forget about it let go the things that is important otherwise your mind will become corrupted it will be worried it will be angry it will be frustrated all these things is not needed why should we happiness is your existence right just be happy all is well that is all forget about it and love god forsake of love 
go in quest of knowledge for sake of knowledge only not for anything else understand the need of peace you don't have to lose your peace if any wrong thing has happened in your life why do you have to lose be at ease and be happy all the time that is important if you understand these factors then you won't allow your mind to go into a frustration suppose somebody has misbehaved and you keep holding your head and keep worrying all the time and you stop eating and you lose your why life no need everybody in this world is selfish selfish means they exercise their choice what they want to live they live like if you have children they will live what they want to live so for that sake you don't have to lose your peace why do you lose your happiness it is your right you be at peace whatever help you help others whatever advice you want to give advise you advise others so just like i always advise people to take up spirituality and love god if some people doesn't want to take up and if they are annoyed with me so what can i do i don't want to lose my happiness i am at happy always so if somebody doesn't want to talk to me somebody doesn't want to take up uh, this path and somebody doesn't want to listen to me no problem wherever whoever wants to listen i will just come and i will talk to them so that is the important thing thank you baba ji baba ji the next question if a person works hard to make a lot of money in order for him or her to help the poor and needy do we consider it as a spiritual seva and will this action make him spiritually grow and purify the mind you have to be careful always whatever you are a portion you must serve others serve the poor and needy after the money comes suddenly you start thinking otherwise oh now the money has come why should i give to others let me enjoy if your mind changes so if you have money you serve if you don't have money no problem you can serve in other ways also just for sake of serving then you go on earning money and then you uh, catch up pick up other wrong bad habits that must not happen for this you must do sadhana every day meditate remember god do bhajans do agnihotra do everything be there participate all spiritual exercises so that your mind remains purified that is important then you are or you don't turn it's all the same thank you baba ji the next question spirituality has made me feel dull towards the material world and i am unable to reconcile this how how can i live happy in the material world while si- simultaneously being spiritual you see spirituality if you are performing the sadhana understanding the right technique it always keeps you happy whether you have material or not if the material is there let it be you be happy for that sake you don't have to become dull if you are becoming dull your sadhana is somewhere wrong it is you are not you have not understood the right technique like if you have to be just watching in between eyebrows means then the mind purifies mind becomes quiet whenever the mind becomes quiet it is happy so happiness is always there is this happiness does not depend whether you have materials or you don't have materials it is all the same so doing sadhana in the right way understanding the right technique is important then there won't be any dullness if you eat too much and feel sleepy that gives you dullness that type of thing you have to avoid wrong company bad company wasting the time in gossips and in unnecessary fight all these things criticizing others belittling others bullying others so many people pick up these habits also because all around the world i keep traveling we see around everywhere also they spend the whole day bullying others so they don't learn anything so you must be careful that you don't pick up any such wrong habit unnecessarily if you do the spiritual sadhana 
you are always happy, no question of any dullness at all. Does that mean that uh, being a spiritual person, if we are doing it correctly, it should not disconnect us from uh, the people in our lives and, and the, the, the other parts of our lives? Not at all necessary. Any way you live in this world is a way of life that you would have adopted and that is your choice. So once you adopt, live it fully. If you are a grihastha, if you are a householder, live it fully. Try to see God in everywhere, everything, as everything. That is important. Love people. Loving itself is not materialistic attachment. You love people as if you love God. Just like I love all of you. So I don't feel dull or I don't lose, I don't become attracted to materialistic things. Just for sake of love, I love. Sometimes even when you criticize, you get annoyed with me. Still I love you all, I bless you all, I pray for you all. Like that you also live. Thank you, Babaji. Uh, the next question. When we follow the spiritual journey, we tend to lose many friends in a natural way. We tend to minimize talking to others. Like for example, I don't like going for outings unnecessarily. But at times people don't understand. They think that we are being proud or stuck up. How do we uh, handle this Babaji? You don't have to bother such friends who are not really friends and who don't understand you or appreciate you. A real friend is when they take you as you are, understand and appreciate. If not appreciate, at least they should understand. So they are the real friends. So they will also get attracted towards you if they are real friends. So only look for such friends. If some friends don't want to be friends anymore, it's okay, it's their choice, you don't have to worry. Because if you keep worrying about those friends, then you can not do any spiritual sadhana. You will lose spiritual sadhana and you will run away towards them. You get attracted to wrong path and wrong things. That's what happens. You have to be careful. Thank you, Babaji. Uh, Babaji, there is one question in the chat about meditation. Uh, this devotee has asked, after I have meditated for some time, I feel my head is heavy. What shall I do, Babaji? You have to take care that when you close your eyes, that's why I keep repeating, remain relaxed, forget about the outside world and gently close your eyes, gently watch in between eyes. Don't try to push or rush or uh, don't feel irritated if the meditation is not happening. It will come. You need to have enormous patience. So that is what is important. Otherwise, if you are in a rush, then this type of things happens. So you just be careful, avoid such things. Just do it in a gentle way. Don't be harsh on yourself. Be gentle to yourself then it will be all right. No headache should happen because when you are actually watching, slowly consciousness gets dealing, detached from the brain's reflection. The load decreases. Then actually it will be pleasant and peaceful and no headache, no such things do happen. Thank you, Babaji. We appreciate all your participation and some very good questions were asked, giving me an opportunity to share my opinions, my experience with you all, what my Guru taught about you, about the spirituality and the worldly life. I hope you will remember the answers that I have given and ponder over, contemplate such answers. You can live a beautiful life of both spirituality and worldly together, collectively. So in the world, you just have to work for your need, do not become greedy, then you are always happy, you are content. How much do we need as a human being? A little bit. So that is what is important. So you, what 
you work whatever you want to earn more money is no problem it is up to you but whatever comes just be contented that is important otherwise you will lose peace you won't have happiness so that is important right may you all be blessed may swami ji our guru bless you all to be most fortunate and let us all pray that we'll be able to see each other physically soon pray for the covid to go away may the divine protect the whole world people from violence from covid from illness from this that all type of problem may everybody achieve their supreme peace for themselves and may they be able to give peace to others inspire others all my love and blessings